In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your port one domain to Framer. So if you watch this video till the end, you'll have everything set up and it is pretty easy. So let's jump into it. So first, once you go to Framer, go ahead and log in, go to your profile icon and then head over to projects. Here you'll find the website that you want to connect a custom domain to. So that is this one for me. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And once we're inside of the website, we can go to the settings cog in the top right. Then you can go to domains and then you'll have your URL here. This will be like a framer subdomain. But what we want to do is scroll down to custom domain. Now we can click on connect a domain you own and you can connect your port bun domain. Now you may have to upgrade to a premium plan on framer. So go ahead and do that. And then once you've done that, you can then connect to your domain. So now on port bun, go to account, go to domain management. And then from here, you can find your domain. Once you've hovered over your domain, go to DNS and that will allow you to add DNS records. We'll do that later. Actually, first, I'm just going to copy the domain name. So copy your domain name or just type it in. And then you want to put it here in Framer in this box. My domain is www.knowledgebasedtutorial.com. Once you've clicked on the tick, it will then ask you to add the following records to your domain. So we need to add one CNAME record and two A records. So to do that, we're first going to copy the value of the CNAME record. We can then go to port bun. You can then go to DNS, then go type. And we want to choose here CNAME record. So that's this one CNAME record. Then for the host, type www. For the answer, paste in the info here you've got from Framer. That will be sites.framer.app. Then click add and it should then add that record. And then here it is here. Now we'll do the exact same for the other two. So the other two are A records. So copy the first IP address, then go ahead and go type, go A record. For the host, you want to type here at, then for the answer, paste in the IP address, click add, and then hopefully that adds that, no problem. And then let's do that again for the second one. We'll copy the second IP address, A record, host at, answer, paste in the IP address, click add, and there we go. We've got all of the records added. Now it's going to scan for those records. So just refresh the page and it could be good to go straight away. In my case, it is. It can take up to 48 hours, though. Then you can click on your domain, make sure everything's working. It might be a bit slow to start off, but if you've done what I've just done, it will connect. So there we go. If we click on mine, there you go. It takes us to the Framer website just like that. I hope that quick video was helpful. Let me know if it was in the comments.